Oh, they should do another one. And we live. The final Austin Spowers. We live. We, we live. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the den with your girl Ellie and your boy Wave. Wade Jones, you know what time it is. It's goat time. It's your boy, the round table to round motherfucking table podcast in the building. How you feeling? You know what I'm saying? It don't cost you nothing to care, but if you in here, like and share. You dig? Like and share. Like Goat and time. share. You like that? So we in here tonight. We checking in with y'all. Hope everybody's Sunday evening is going well. Hope everybody had a good weekend. My weekend was pretty good. How was your weekend, Wade? Uh, first of all, your energy, y'all. So we gonna have to take a shot. What's wrong? Right, right, because your energy is not. No, no, we gonna get take a shot, and yeah, we gonna turn it up. We gonna turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. I, I have the energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna get more energy tonight. Right. Turn it up, turn it up, turn turn to it. the most. If you got a shot out there, toast up to the most. Toast up. up to the most. Got that well, bell, thank you, man. Shake them off. But yeah, uh, my weekend was great, magnificent. Um, the highlight, or one of the highlights, major highlight, I should say. Um, I took my mom and them to the WBOK concert, and I'm saying it was the Whispers, my mom's yeah. favorite old school group. Keep talking. Oh no, nah, it was the Whispers, my mom's favorite old school group, you dig? Like, and that's one of my favorite groups. Um, it was also, let me get it right, let me get it right. It was Johnny Gill. Cause I kept saying Jeremiah, I kept saying Jamiroqua, I kept saying <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Cash, oh, everybody but Johnny Gill. And he came out, he did, uh, my, 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 <laughs> my, 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 Listen, I already know that was He did up. shit, and then, um, Lloyd came out too, Lloyd from Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he did really? thing, yeah, yeah. What all stuff did he do? Oh, uh, he did my favorite joint, but, uh, he did a couple of joints, but he did my favorite joint, the, um. Stop. Nah, that's the He didn't do that? Nah, he, he did that joint, nah, okay. my joint is, this is me. And please accept me for who I am. Okay, I know what you're talking about. And please about. accept me for what I do. Ooh, 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 leave me when you're high. Okay, however that song go. It go like that. That's what's up. That's what's uh-huh. up. I'm, I'm kind of mad that I missed it, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, my weekend one. was pretty bland. I didn't do too much. I you know, hung out around the house, hung out with my sister a little bit. You know, just family things for the most part. My weekend was kind of... Just laid back. A little mellow tone. A little mellow. Yeah, I guess I'm in a mellow mood. You know, what you're talking about my energy, y'all. I think I'm just in a mellow mood. That's all. That's all right. It ain't the bad. It's not bad energy. It's just, it's just, you know, it's It's not not the energy you need right now. It's not the turned up energy. Okay, so we're going to get into it. We're going to do our little fit check. Come on, people. It's Sunday night. I know y'all asses at home. No, they are. work in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, share. But it was a turn the week because a uh, weekend because uh, uh, today at the joint they had a, it was a church fest joint so it was Hezekiah Walker and all that. Listen, that and they was jamming. I live right around the corner from the university, so they was jamming. I heard them all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard the turnout wasn't as good as expected, but you know. Yeah. Well, not- whoever was performing Hezekiah Walker, I guess they, he had like a choir or whatever with him. Oh, well. yeah. Listen. They were singing the praises. They was churching it up. They was churching it up. Church, 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 I, I, felt, I felt the spirit. I felt the vibe. I we in here on some coolie high shit. We got our shades on and shit. Listen. We laid back in the shade. Like, I'm feeling real, you summer, know. Summer, 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 summer vibes. Definitely laid back summer vibes. We cooling all mm-hmm. summer. Cooling all summer. All summer. That's a fact. Yeah, you got, you got the beach. Outfit on, you ready to go to a luau or I'm a, a kind of 70s, yeah, today. a little 70s cook out. Before we get into the drip check, and I know that's what you like to do, the little fit check, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it was a good weekend though. I, I, I pretty much worked a lot. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, work, worked on my bathroom. Yeah, yeah that, that's never fun when you gotta work on the you bathroom. Know, homework. Right. And I mean literally homework. Mm-hmm. So it's never really that fun, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You know. 
these hand these these hands work in multiple ways, ladies and gentlemen. Mostly gentlemen, because we put them in the camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? These hands work. Just let y'all know. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get into our fit check. You know what I'm saying? We just, like I said, we vibe it tonight. You know, we just gonna, we gonna take it easy. You know, we gonna get into a couple topics. Mm -hmm. Y'all feel like chiming? Definitely feel free. Like the video, yeah, share something. the video. Go subscribe to my YouTube page, Ellie Jackson Two Five. The previous right. videos aren't up right now. I'm kind of revamping a little bit, so mm -hmm. bear with me. We'll get it back together. Right, you need to share this motherfucker right as we speak. I'm talking about you, not the people. You you need to share this motherfucker right now. Once again, so let them know we live at five <laughs> quarter to nine. We live. Past we live. Two. So let's get into it with this fit check. Wave is up here looking real saucy tonight. Smelling mm. good, looking good. Ooh. So Watch that dinner. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me put this uh this flavorful uh sponsored by uh what if you can see it in the camera. It's very flavorful. That that pink dolphin's runts. And it smells, yeah. it smells really That's why I got a smile on my face. You know we four twenty friendly over here. Smoking smoking that good in the neighborhood. <laughs> Don't be trying to steal my song out there, y'all. Oh this came to my head, Paul. Um, let me get one second. Let me just get the bud off my lap because you know we messy, but we 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 you know we do what we do. Yeah, man, it's um, been a lot going on, you know, mm -hmm. just period. Um, All right. All right. So time. before I stand up, let me get it right. You see the braids? Hold on, um, the braids. But let me get her name right. Coletta, Kalina, Kalina. Braised by Kalina, you know what I'm saying? She yes. came through for the boy, got the nigga. So extra. they can see the detail. The, the fish bone, you can hear it, yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish bone, yeah, you see we got yeah, the little yeah, yeah, yeah. wavy waves mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. The waves it's and nice. the waves, you feel me? Lots yeah. of detail, I love it, I love it. Shout out Carletta, it, did a good job. It's almost a, a the King Cooper vibe, you feel me? <laughs> I feel like King Cooper, feel like Bowser. Oh, wow. Alright, so then I'll stand up. Alright, oop, shit. Got the little Mary shirt on, little Mary. Little Murray, not a Murray, it's Murray. It's Murray. Murray. It's a look, look, it's a Murray. <laughs> it's a Murray shirt. Um, yeah, swivel jeans, you know what I mean? Oh. God damn it. I gotta, hold on, let me figure it out. The swivel oh. jeans, oh, mm -hmm. I could have moved it down. It's Please right. don't fall. Okay, swivel jeans with the space jam gone, you know, clear bottoms, you know what I mean? The space jam gone, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? This was a little, little nasty for you, nasty. Oh, something, something oh, 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 oh. True religions. Sorry, I had to show the true religions. You really didn't, but okay, thank you for that. That's for you niggas with the dirty drawers that that, that 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 be having them down to your butt, and then they ain't got no name. Oh my you, god! You better spend on some drawers that got a name and shit. Fruit of the Loom is damn near top That's of the line. Yeah. Okay. You know, I yeah. can do that because we men. We show our right. ass. All I can't be shown. Yeah, you do. <coughs> right. So anyway, like he said, I'm feeling my little um <coughs> seventies vibe or whatever. I got on the little white little joint joint with my oh, no. what they call the the Palooza pants. Sheesh. I don't know if y'all can see them that good. Oh, yeah, stand up. Oh, no, no, no. Cause I'm big, so I don't want to break them. Oh shit. You got a on chair. That's <laughs> See the pants, see mm -hmm. the pants. Let's see know, the back pockets. Back pockets, he just wants to look at the back pockets. Nah, see good. the back pockets. You gotta stand up in the chair for the, you know what I mean, for the gander. <laughs> I'm about to fall. <laughs> you can't see, hold on. Ooh, look at the back pocket. Back pocket. Ooh, Mew. wee. Oh my god, you got a control. That's for the guy. And back. then nothing, nothing with the shoes, you know what I'm saying? Just got toes out. A little flip flop on or whatever. Pink toes, can't really see them. That's about it. But yeah, I was feeling kind of festive and spicy today. Palooza pants. Mm -hmm. Palooza pants, up. ladies. Mm -hmm. Get you some. Hard in the Palooza. The Palooza. A lot of pants. Mm hmm. 
So yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing it up major. You mm-hmm. got the comb earrings, the pick ones. So crazy thing, I was at um, Pine Hill Grill yesterday, mm-hmm. and I met this real interesting lady, and she said she liked my earrings. Well, if y'all know what Pine Hill Grill is, it's uh, something wrong because it should be some people here. But anyways, it don't matter if y'all here or not. Y'all gonna see it later, but it still should be some people here. But if y'all know what Pine Hill Grill is, it's the fish market that, you know what I mean, got the extra spice. And shout to my girl, our Dr. girl. Dr. D. Green. You know what I'm saying? Dr. D. Green. With Peachy all that, Quartz. Mm-hmm. For yeah. all your holistic needs, mm-hmm. your good uh, juices, juices and, and smoothies mm-hmm. and stuff like that, definitely holler the at detoxes Dr. detoxes and all mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good vibes, good lives. Definitely. Yeah. But I met this lady in there, and, um, you know, they were saying, she was telling me how she liked my earrings. And then she started explaining to me that, you know, this symbol in Africa means something. So it, like, has something to do with God and, like, social affiliation and all that kind of stuff like that. Me and her sat and talked for maybe, like, 30 minutes before I even ordered my food. Um, She said she had just came back from Ghana. So she was just telling me how it was out there and showing me all these different symbols, you know, that were stolen from African culture mm-hmm. and are it, that's incorporated in like fashion and all kinds of stuff. And I found these earrings at the hair store. At the hair store. The hair, hair store. Uh, Rose, right over here around the corner. You know, that I love my be, costume um, jewelry and my little. That used to be Beverly Johnson, right? Or no, matter of fact, Philly Dollar used to be Beverly Johnson. Beverly Johnson, yeah, yeah. yeah Remember yeah. her? Yep. What yep. was the joint? No, it wasn't her. It was, uh. Ah, uh, damn, I'm trying to think of the infomercial. She had one, but I remember. Lifestyle, street gear. Mm 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 mm. Lifestyles, you remember Lifestyles? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember Lifestyles. Yeah, Beverly Jazz had one too for all your hair and care product needs. <laughs> yep, those are the days. Yeah, Rose, you know, it's it's not it's not black owned or anything like that, but you know, every now and then I go through that little jewelry, little costume jewelry they have in there, and I found these in another cute little pair of earrings. Well, I don't think, to be honest with you, since Beverly Jazz, I don't think there's no black. I'm going to hear stories. In Buffalo? In Buffalo. I don't think so. I ain't hear none on the radio or nothing like that. I mean, it's the boutiques, like clothing boutiques. Yeah, I know it's boutiques. I know, you know, it's a, a braid shop literally right at the corner from my house. Then, mm-hmm. you know, we got here to go natural. But, wow. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. And, and speaking of not to talk about hair, though, but, you know I mean, once again, shout out Kalina. I think that's her name. Kalina. Uh, that did my hair. She... And her people just opened up a hair salon. I don't know the name. I was there for the grand open. I was the second person in the shop to get their hair done. Mm-hmm. I was mad. I was like, I ain't the first one. He's like, no, nah, I did this my hair before you. I was like, fuck, I could have been the first. But anyway, they got a, a hair salon. I don't know the name, but I know it's 2429 Kenmore Avenue. So y'all yeah, check that out. So she she specializes in braids, or is there other braids, things that she dreads, can do for the ladies? The whole shit. Well, I don't know about the ladies, but like, does she do like listen, you know, y'all wig and stuff? We, we not worried about y'all. Y'all got enough places. This is for the Knicks. Oh, I didn't know. I this is just, for this is. For you know, my, I gotta look out for the ladies. What's you know? This is for my. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 He ain't on this y'all. Nah, y'all got enough spots. It's 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 about time a nigga, and I don't even want to really put it. You I, mean, I don't want to really, listen. I want to promote him, but I don't want you dirty braid, dirty dread head niggas going to my braider and having her try to freak your shit like my shit, and then nah, nah, nah. See, nah, that's nah, nah, see nah. now you being a little hater a little Cause bit because the dirty niggas gonna be looking like my shit, and I'm like, what the fuck. He got the same braids. But did you not get that hairstyle from a picture of someone Don't else? Don't be talking about oh, I'm sorry. Shit. I told him to get his hair done like that. I was like, get the wavy lines with the fish mom. Is that the... <laughs> but I'll be got But that. everything you know is what? a replica. No matter how right. you do your hair, everything right. is a replica of but something. But she did say that she her favorite thing to do is freestyle. So she that's why I said next time when I come, I'm gonna let her just freestyle my hair. And, and then how you thing. described how she did your hair, she she is a true stylist. She is, she is true. She and 
that's another thing that lets you know when you got a, a true stylist when you can sit down and be like Cause work your magic cook me up cause when my shit dry after a wash that shit get tight as these foams in the back on the walls that shit get shriveled up to like ooh, it's crazy shit. and then when it's combed out and, and blowed out and everything it's like Right, right, but yeah, but yeah. So she did a damn goddamn thing with what she could work with. So well, y'all know how to get my own hair and get my own Right, shout out to the purple, the purple, 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 going down. I know I like my purple. Shout out to Eunice. This is a repeat, actually. I just, you know, tried to switch it up a little bit. I feel like it went good with what I had on, you know. I think um, you're ready for like a Caribbean party or something. You should be okay. like. Jamaica man with I should outfit. I should be. Wait, the Caribbean? I should be. The, Cara I should be. No, I, not the Caribbean. The Caribbean. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Definitely feeling the island mm -hmm. vibes. Because them glasses is tight. I like them Thank glasses. You. Yeah, I gotta get some glasses work. But mm -hmm. you know I can never go wrong with my Michaels. Yeah. Them joints is classic. These they go with everything. Cool but mm -hmm. me, I like to mm -hmm. switch it up. And then I like mm -hmm. these extra looking, you know, big and weird shape shades. Oh, for women that. especially, big wide lenses and, you know, eccentric And then looks. I got like a small head. So. An eccentric look goes crazy for women, you know what I'm saying? Um, yesterday when I was at the thing, the concert with my mom, she was this girl or lady, she was sitting next to us. Mm -hmm. And she had some joints, but they were like, so... If y'all can imagine the Batman mask, mm -hmm. but just imagine the frontal lobe. So mm -hmm. it was glasses, but it came down and shielded her nose. Like a visor almost. And, yeah, but it went up and she, it was like aqua blue, the whole glasses. The, the funny thing is I was going to buy some of those. I know where she got them from. And it was a hair store? store? No, it wasn't a hair store. It was a nail store? It wasn't. A, is that where she said she got her uh, from? I, I didn't ask you. Oh no! I just look, I didn't talk to her. Yeah, it wasn't like, a hair store and it wasn't a nail store, but I know where she got them from. And you know, I'm not gonna give away the secrets neither. But I started to buy those. This is for my number one. Mm, 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 mm. Right, and, and it's the worst thing for for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? There's been lots of times where I done been out. And I got on like a little cute outfit or something. I could have ordered it offline or whatever. And you walk in the spot and you see a chick with the exact same outfit that you got on. For a fact, and you know what? I don't even. It happened when that. I went to when we went to Detroit for my birthday. Yeah, in but I didn't. I didn't wear it though. Yeah, I didn't you didn't wear, wear it, but she yeah. about to have the same guy. I would have had the same so exact come dress. Remember, it didn't come through or something. something it didn't like come. That. It didn't come in time. Right. It happens like that. Like yep. with my fucking. My Jordan was now that my space jeans. I, I searched and I looked and I was trying to find something that nobody had. And the day my sneakers came, I went to a little hookah lounge with my cuz and, he, and my other little cuz because his friend was having a birthday party up there. And this son of a bitch, my little <laughs> cousin, had the same sneakers on. I said, motherfucker. He was like, what? He said, you got the same sneakers on me. He said, so? I said, you motherfuckers thinking like me. He said, yeah, good taste, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's all of me. Y'all got, got the same And thing. he said it in those words. He's a little son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he younger than me, but yeah. he, got, he got taste. Yeah. That's definitely happened to me. Shout out to my cousin Kavon. A few times with the same outfit. But again, you know, you make the clothes. The clothes don't make you. So just because somebody got on the same shoes or the same outfit, that don't mean that they giving it what it needs to give. You know what I'm saying? A lot of time. Most of the time, you know. Uh, everybody not, you know, not really fashion forward as far as like being matchy matchy or coordinating, you know. So I mean, I could be upfront, honest and shit with the shit. I make the clothes happen like a motherfucker. Cause mm -hmm. I remember maybe about dropped the bomb um, eighteen years ago. Oh, he just saying that he old. No, I'm not. I'm not old. <laughs> young, young, but about 18 years ago, I went to a Lil Wayne concert. This was and not, and this was the Lil Wayne Birdman concert. This was like father, like son. This was in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And prior to that, the whole summer, this is like belt chain. Like you know how niggas just got a belt chain, wallet chain, mm -hmm. you know that shit. Yes. The, uh, right now it's the, uh, the what's the nigga name Martin. Not the Martin Shkreli. 
What the fuck is this belt called? You know the, the studded, the dazzle belts. Mm -hmm. Right? I've been had those. So, uh, I can't think of his name. But anyway, y'all know in the chat. Y'all bring up the name. But anyway, we went up that whole summer. And I'm going to tell him now because I can get away I'm with telling him now. I think now. I look cute tonight. That's you look I'm really look amazing. Yes. I love my glasses. Go with the outfit and everything, the the, 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 like the whole aesthetic with the whole, you got to put your hair back so they can see the air and yeah, yeah. the whole aesthetic, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have saved this but and wore it somewhere. I right? give that niggas a secret. That whole summer, it probably can't do it no more, but that whole summer, I shopped and bought t-shirts at Family Dollar. Bought t-shirts for three dollars and I was stunting like my daddy. I was getting so many motherfucking compliments from people like, oh my god. This, this skull joint with the joint joint and then the big skull joint and like I swear it was like skull gang season whatever company I remember the skull salute to that company cause they was yo I was literally going to this South, before South Ed Buffalo Hardy and shit. North Buffalo all that every family dollar I can go to and find that shirt yeah. city trans man nigga I don't give a yeah. fuck I was and that's the shop. thing if you know how to dress you can shop anywhere like uh last night which is and I, I had the Walmart I do spend a yeah. lot of money on my clothes too yeah. yes sir yeah mm -hmm. and then you can mix and match you know what I'm saying you can match some expensive stuff with some cheap stuff that's you know what I'm trick. saying like for guys it, it can be different you know what I'm saying well, for the most part guys like to you know make right. sure their stuff is extra if, expensive or whatever but girls had, we can buy something that costs three dollars and be looking right. super fly right. in it, you know. But see, that's the difference, right? So, a hundred dollar pair of jeans for one pair of jeans for me, within a hundred dollars, y'all could probably get maybe four to five outfits, or like she in or something like that. Maybe ten outfits. Maybe if you shopping on she in or, or something like that, some right? shit like that, you can right. freshen up your wardrobe right. with that. But for men. And I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna say it right And y'all harder on y'all clothes. Listen, I'm so thankful that niggas don't fuck with Fashion Nova for men. I need to dig. That's fashion not Nova true. For men, they do shop Fashion Nova for men, but not a lot of dudes. I'm saying, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? This, and I'm not gonna say personally, but I hear a lot of things on social media about guys shopping on uh, Fashion Nova. They got some nice t shirts, they got nice jeans and stuff too. I like Fashion Nova, but. You got to be careful with the sizing. That's my only thing. And then, like, if, you know, like the zippers or whatever, be kind mm -hmm. of faulty. But other than that, I love the company. Yeah, I guess. And I know a lot of my friends out there shop at Fashion Nova, so they know exactly what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. Got a little hair in my eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, I hope you, a lot of you guys don't shop at Fashion Nova. Um... Keep that for the players and niggas that, you oh, know what I mean? players. Yeah. <laughs> it's for the guys that, you know, like to shop high and low price. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I believe in one of that shit, like I said, but I like exclusive and expensive shit too. You know what I'm saying? Shit, if you ain't got a, a, at least five pairs of $100 jeans in your closet, nigga, you losing because automatically... Our jeans at the limit, like 504s or whatever, the leads or Levi's. They like 100 don't they? $75, $65. Yeah. So you might as well spend that extra 40 for those good true religions or those uh, uh, rebels. What's the shit? Rebel Renegade, Rebel Rain, whatever the fuck they call it. Um, these good swivel jeans. Um, you know what? Um, smuggler, smuggler jeans is in right now. What women jeans that I really, really, really miss? Mm -hmm. Apple bottom jeans. Mm. Those were some good jeans. I miss you know, apple if you're curvy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And yeah, you got like a small waist, and they perfect. They fit. You gotta they have the underlining. Perfect. You gotta have a little. A little I always said the what? The underlining. They gotta gotta. You gotta have the apple. Yeah, because a lot of them joints, a lot of women that used to wear those joints, like, no shade to my big women, I love my big women too, but it like somebody took the apple and cut it in half. It was like, Fuck. Half apple. And then you know how apple shit, when it's cut in half, it got the little dimple, <laughs> the little dimples under the bottom part of the black. Oh thing. my god, yeah, but, but those jeans it, it were almost, It almost looked like a, uh, <coughs> a green pepper. Like green the pepper, yeah, like. 
my God. Instead of it being a punk, it's a beep. Yeah, but some big girls got got nice shapes. All big girls have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, 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 big girl, don't mean. I, I used to be a big girl. What you talking about? I ain't no little girl now. Listen, y'all motherfucking women. One thing I say about women, y'all like transformers. Because y'all shape. Yes, we are. You know, it's something called hormones. Style, I don't know what that. You know, terrible. Is, um, <laughs> biting into the spot. I don't know. That, I was trying to do a transformation. <laughs> sound, Cause y'all be transformating. Mm-hmm. Like niggas, it take a lot. We either gonna get big, muscular, small, or that's it. Yeah, because y'all don't have things to grow well, and all stay, that kind of stuff like that. that you know, like me, I was definitely a late bloomer. You know, I used to be a, a twig coming up, and then one day, I was 200 pounds. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then, I lost the weight or whatever. I was like, borderline diabetic. My cholesterol was through the roof. I stopped eating pork. Right. And that's when I seen the difference. All them fucking steak sausage subs and all that shit and shit you take it down. Nah, run up down Just south. Like, man, I'm eating chitlins and hog moths and pig ears are you, and pig are you, feet. Are you was eating everything off the pig. Everything off the, the nose, the ears, everything. So let me ask you this while we talking about wild shit. Like, I remember uh, a couple years back, me, my dad, and my cousin went down to Virginia mm-hmm. and my aunt. For breakfast, right? She made not scrambled eggs with cheese. She made cheese eggs. So that's one question. What the fuck is the difference between cheese eggs and scrambled eggs with cheese? Now I think I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna answer my. You know, it's a, it's exact. It's literally self-explanatory. Mm-hmm. Eggs with cheese and cheese eggs. Nope. So the cheese eggs is basically. Is the eggs in the cheese? The scrambled eggs with cheese is the cheese and the eggs. So to put that in layman's terms, cheese and eggs is you gonna have a whole lot more cheese, more cheese than the eggs. Right. Because so that's what I'm saying, right? So like, what happened when I woke up? So it was the cheese eggs, mm-hmm. and to my interpretation right mm-hmm. it was made like scrambled eggs but they were a lot lo- looser mm-hmm. but it was a lot more cheese mm-hmm. it was like more right. cheese than egg right but it was it was still loose. that's why it's it called cheese thin. eggs because right. it's more cheese right but then the, the dish is mostly the cheese right so yeah. but then the next pot when <laughs> i opened it up it was chicken toes and chicken feet Mm-hmm. I don't know how to eat chicken feet. It looked like you suck the meat off the toe, off the things. You eat it. What you mean? Like What's chicken that? necks. You ever had chicken necks before? Is it like turkey neck? Uh, pretty much. I mean, is this? It's like skinny. It's like like uh-huh. a spinal cord. Like yeah, and they got the little meat, the meat on it or whatever. You break it. It's kind of like eating a oxtail or something like that. Yeah, like turkey neck. Yep, yeah, yeah, I like, got like yeah, the yeah, I like that. Yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah, pause. Yeah, pause. Yeah, 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 off the ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I'm saying is, yeah, that's some good. It's some good living over there. Like, but it's just different. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about chicken toes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just try it one day. Like, definitely get it. I try. think Chinese people make them. Mm-hmm. Chinese drink restaurant. You ever have or like a, you ever have a pickle pig feet before? No, Would you try I've never had a pickle pig feet, pickle pig nose, or yeah. ear. You ever had a pickle egg before? Yes. Okay. I've never tried the feet, the nose, the snout, Listen, or the ear. A pickle pig feet. I'm willing to try it. Life. I'm willing to try it. I, I might like, not eat it all the way, all the way through, but I'm willing to try it because, you know. That used to be like a whole snack. The pickle joints and the red. The red pickle ju- Oh, man. Oh, and the- you literally, when you get done, it's just going to be like little bones or whatever because it's so good and meaty. Oh, so good. If you like pickle stuff and, and you it's eat pork. It's vinegary. It's very fun. vinegary. If you like stuff like that, you will love pickle pig feet. And if you like, you know, pork. Pig feet. So, you know what kind of deterred me from that shit was... I was in seventh or eighth grade, maybe high school, and we had to dissect a piglet. 
Mm. That's not, and then it smells the 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 the, uh, the solution that they keep them um, preserved in. It's not a clean smell, like everything. Yeah. Else is, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember. I want to say what was it like seventh, or eighth grade? Mm-hmm. We dissected a worm, and uh-huh. then it was it had a, to be um, like a giant night crawler. And then it was a um, worms are easy. A frog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, the worm was actually complicated because I'm like, what the hell is in the worm? Yeah. You know, I was a kid or whatever, yeah. but you got to dissect it properly and then you get to see, you know, they give you the little right. diagram where everything is supposed to be. And I was like, wow. We did a worm. We did the pig. The pig was last. We did a worm. We did um, a frog. I think they did we a did pig a too, locust. but I was You know how time. fucking big a locust is? Mm-hmm. A giant grasshopper cricket like this fucking look at we my used to face. get we used to get plagues look, on them. My face. To, so imagine going to the seven eleven and pop, pulling on the side of the building and the whole thing is just covered. Locus. The leg is like a chicken wing. The leg really is like this fucking big. Like <laughs> what the fuck kind of cricket it grasshopper? Ninja Turtle Ninja is that <laughs> not a ninja turtle this ninja. Shit is teenage mutant. Grasshopper. Uh-huh. It was so big. I was like, Paul's like, what the fuck? Why? N- nigga, I see how it was in the Bible, whatever they say the Bible was, and then the, the cricket low, excuse me, let me not disrespect their name because the niggas is huge. The <laughs> is, took over and played shit, yes. Because a hundred of them is looking crazy. But a million of them is, is ridiculous. Yeah. Cause one was enough in my fake Paul like yeah that's that's crazy that's too much. He was scared. I'm not. I'm a city boy. We don't fuck with the bugs. Well, you listen. Where did you go to Mississippi? Or anywhere south? But I was saying I've been Mississippi. South. No, I'm telling you, you got to go to Mississippi in the summertime. No, see, the and experience is, the gators the and all that kind of stuff. The difference is you like got that. to be in the trenches. You can go to a city and and tourism or whatever and see. Just the city life, the urban, you know what I mean? Like, not urban, what's it, what is it called? Like, the upscale lifestyle of different cities. Because they all have their little urban upscale. Yeah. But, but it's still bugs. Be, Anywhere where no, it's any type of trees. The the, you're right, you're right. Or you're wildlife, right. You're, it's going to be bugs. No, no. Anywhere where it's water nearby, ditches, Fountain Fountain anything Fountain like that, you are going to have bugs. Does so. anybody know about the Fountain Blue and there's no shade to the Fountain Blue because it was not their fault in Miami or South Beach? I was walking past that motherfucker and I can't even even show you what the fuck. It was a water bug as they call it down south. Yeah, we call it. It's a big roach. It's we the, call the, the, the king roach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we call them that water bug. That was like this big. Oh, let me get my. This Y'all big know about the water bug. This wide. That shit had a fucking shell like a hardback snapping turtle. Why? That motherfucker like a half a like a beetle and a fucking cockroach had a baby. <laughs> that shit was. That's a good. That's a good description of a water bug if you never seen one. Yeah, and right. he was swimming to the point he was on his back. And when he was trying to fly, he was like, <laughs> which is like I can't even make the sound, but the water that he was vibrant, like the water, how it vibrate, I'm like, what in the fuck? Right. What in the fuck? Uh? <laughs> is this? What the who, fuck is this? Who the fuck created this? This big ass teenage mutant ninja cockroach. Hilarious. I'm just saying, that's man, that's what city life show you. Like, no, I can't deal with this. Shit. I'm like, like dragonflies. You ever seen a dragonfly before? Nigga. Call them snake doctors back home. Fuck that. We call them. It, wherever you see a lot of those, it's a snake somewhere nearby. If you see a lot of dragonflies. I only see one or two dragonflies close up, like, as close together. Like, so yeah. I see try a, seeing them just swarming around. Like, yeah. Or they fuck up snakes. I don't know why they call it, like I said, they call them snake doctors because, like I said, they say wherever you see a lot of them, it's a snake somewhere by. So I don't know if they eat well, the snakes or they attracted to the smell of the snakes. I, I was know. born in a place where we got garden snakes. So we ain't got no dangerous snakes, no nasty snake, none of that shit. So I don't know what the dragonfly hunters, what you say? <laughs> they said the dragonfly snake doctors. Snake doctors. <laughs> Fucking goddamn fucking 
turtle psychiatrist, <laughs> whatever the fuck them niggas is. A turtle shrink. But we don't got them motherfuckers. If you see a crowd of them, you best be where you better get the fuck up out of here. Right. Something died or something died. It don't mean it is dead or it's Shit. dying. It just means it's near about. Yeah, up here you see a lot of bugs. I mean, yeah, yeah something dead. Shit, way. it might be a body. You never know. Nah, that's the horse flies. You never know. Horse fly, man. I remember one time I was going to my family uh, barbecue at the foot of Fourth of July, and me and Neff was riding. This is a little quick time story with Wave. Me and Neff riding to fucking um, Como Park, y'all. We riding down fucking Broadway or wherever the street is. And do you know a goddamn to goddamn <laughs> to goddamn to goddamn to god to god not god to god to god what it damn. In my mind, all right, it was it was a horse fly. I gotta make it dramatic. It was a horse fly, y'all. Real talk. But listen, in my mind, am I saying it wrong? The right motherfucker right, was right. this big. It flew in the, in the car. I was like, I'm like, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> shit! Never like, oh my god! Oh my god! We we in the car. I'm trying to drive, and the shit hitting me. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it's hard, like smacking against. It was a fly. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's black as my glasses. Mm hmm. About the size of a bumblebee. That's what a horse fly is. Mm -hmm. And it will bite you. But the sound that it was making hitting the glass and flying past our ears was like little plane. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the window. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Something is wrong. Needless to say, dramatic. needless to say, we are enough to kill it. So I had to pull over. We jumped up the car screaming with the doors open and just hope it flew out. And they finally got out. Neither one of y'all tried to kill it. Nope. We killed something, somebody, but we can't kill that horse fly. We, 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 we. I remember one scared. day uh, coming home from picking the kids up from daycare. And uh, me and Cash is sitting in the car. We you drive, we driving down the street, just minding our own business. Just so happened to look in my peripheral, and I see a giant yellow spider. Mind you, we driving down the street or whatever. I start screaming. She looks. She starts screaming. We both. Ah, ah. I pull over and jump out of the car. She's like, "You gotta get back in the car." I'm like, "No, the spider can't have the car." I'm not messing with the spider, so I took off my shoe, and I had to smash it or whatever, and that's how we got rid of it. But we almost had a car accident because one of my biggest fears is spiders. Yeah, that's what happened with that. So what's going on, guys? Where y'all at? Definitely tap in, tap in, comment. What's on y'all mind? What's going on? How was y'all weekend? I was just trying to bring you so um. Some uh, topics, but as soon as I was my phone, bam, 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 a topic on? popped up, right? Okay. So I know you can't bring it up, but if you're out there, check our DJ Academics page. So Shaq, I guess, was in Home Depot mm -hmm. and he seen a bad one. And so I guess he got her Instagram or whatever, so he DMs her. Mm -hmm. When Shaq texts you, you know you're doing something right. Okay, that's her. Caption. Okay. And her name is from the the tag. It was like Anastasia. Anastasia. Okay. So at one twenty eight p.m., Shaq texts her or DMs her on Instagram. And he says, "Don't let them people bother you." She replies, "Thank you, Shaq." He replies, "Don't read the comment stuff like that. Uh, don't read the comment stuff. That will drive you crazy." Then he replies right behind, have a great day. Tell all your boyfriends I said hello. Laugh out loud. Mm. She replies, ha, ha, ha. I will thank you. You too. But she's not bad looking. She's a pretty girl. But I, don't, I think Shaq is a lot old for she her. Is, she is pretty. Right. Yeah, she nice looking. All right. She ain't bad looking. 
I mean, Shaq. I mean, you don't know. Your, he might. He might have your, a type. You never know what attracted him to her. Your daughter could drop. Uh, you know, your dad or um, said dad daughter. Uh, uh, your son could drop draws. Wow, they do the wing squeeze for it. Wow, that's that just looks nasty. He just looking at weird shit online. Yeah. Oh my but god, yeah. did he just kiss him on the ear? Yep, he kissed <laughs> little dude on the ear. What the fuck is going on? Man, you don't get the fuck out of it. Oh, you gotta bring it up. <laughs> See, this why we gotta get the little screen share thing. You gotta show the carrot. No, that's why I did it. Uh oh, there's a little Duval. Dude just walked up and kissed her. Oh, so I do. That's what a girl reaction. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, he played for me. Oh, I don't know. I'm a pretty good sport when it comes to pranks. But I don't know about that. Some random person walking up. Putting Kissing you on, on the ear. The tip of your ear. Yeah. Would How you, would you, you feel laugh like it that? off? Would you laugh it off or would you swing? Wait a minute. No, what would you do? I would s swing, but I'm sorry. So I got caught up. Uh, Kanye West celebrates his birthday with sushi being served on Naked Woman. He got the real chicouterie. Chicouterie? It's a chicouterie. He be doing too much. Okay. Served on the They have parties like that and though. sushi. They have parties sushi, like that sushi. where they have the, the new models and they have food and they eat off of their body. Would you do that? No. I'm not eating nothing off a of body unless it's the body I want to be eating off of. Hey, 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 hey. No, I don't, I'm not a random person that's just going to eat a french fry. I'm saying if it's a, <laughs> a french fry. No, it's like a nice upscale event. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. it's like, it's a form of art or whatever. Right. And they got the, you know, it's, it's charcuterie bar. They got the fucking yeah. cheese and shit. Yeah, and they you know. got, you know, like desserts right. and all that kind of stuff yeah. like that. So if, so say if it was a fifth and we all be drunk and we're at a, uh, we're at a party and they have a naked charcuterie bar and the fucking ranch dip is on the chick's nipples. So you can, don't gotta lick it off. You can, just dip the chip in like, there. It, it, how many swirls is too many swirls? <laughs> he said, I don't know. I'm just saying, as being a lady walking not, in there, how would you feel if your man, if the red sauce, and he loved red sauce, is on the nipples and the don't swirls make his lips? Matter of fact, get a plate. And put some on there and a, just move it's, away. No, it's a charcuterie bar. It's a finger, finger, yeah, or what they call it? Get a finger. plate. They they have plates. Use your fingers. Get the shit. So I get and off of my finger. I can just swipe it off the nipple with the. No, because that's not how that works. That's why I'm asking. Because no. I just want to figure out from a man's point of view. What no. are we supposed to do at a charcuterie bar? Are you saying it like a that? Out. Okay, so how would you feel if they had a a, a dude? Oh, somebody. 
Bobby Lawrence. But yeah, if it was a man and he got his schlong all out there and he got the little breaks and cheeses and all that kind of stuff, and you just go first of all, just go plug it. I'm gonna do like this, right? I'm gonna grab my girl or woman by the arm and say, "Bitch, we ate." Move that home, bitch. Yeah, you better not fucking go. You better not even look at that body. You fool. In your mind, you fool. (laughs) You try to hypnotize me. Remember that popcorn at the movies earlier? You fool. Oh, you funny. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. It's art. Art, my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but you, got, got, you see how guys think, though. Yeah, he over here got a jacuzzi. First thing he, he got nuts about on his nuts. You gonna eat the nuts off the nuts? Do not. You eating that food. Yeah, You're he, not thinking about the nuts. He got them all over the fucking... The top he part of his nuts, nice spread, right? And it looked like the nuts with the cranberries and all that. And the cra- that's how it looked. And that's what you, you seen? No, I never seen it. I'm just saying that it's you ain't never seen the chinuderie. I seen the chinuderie before, but it wasn't a guy. It up close in mm. person. No. Oh, in movie or yeah, TV? On or, TV, or I never seen one up close in person. Right. I never seen one either, but okay. that's what no, the male, really, I never seen the one. male version is called a chinuterie. Chinuterie, yep, and then and then woman's is a chicuterie. Yep, the chicuterie. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I would definitely take pictures. I don't know if I would actually eat the food off there, right? But it would be an interesting sight. They just got strawberries all over the the, the coochie part, and then right in the middle is a bunch of whipped cream. You dip it off. You take one of the strawberries off, and you dip it in the yeah, cream. Yeah, you see, and then you eat it off like that. Okay. Is she gonna do it? Is who? Am I gonna do it? Yeah. No. Why not? Am I do it? Not gonna yeah. do this shit either. Chicory, what are you talking about? Chicory party. Listen. They got hoarders and him there. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> there will be no scooping mm-hmm. of the whipped cream. I can see you taking the grape um, off a nigga uh, right between his. Uh, mm-hmm. How? What do you mean? You can see me taking the grape? I'm just saying you might take the grape. I ain't say where it was going to be. Might, you might swoop the, the strawberry. Nah. You definitely going to swoop the, and just look at it like. I'm allergic to chicuti. <laughs> no, you not. Uh-huh. You not allergic to They didn't have strummy slices on that shit. Mm-hmm. You like it. Nigga Tony. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. Nah, nah, nah. I never been involved with that, so I wouldn't even. Know I, that's what I'm that. saying. So mm-hmm. if you ever went to a party Shut like up. that or whatever, you, you never know. No, I know. Mm-hmm. No, I don't eat fucking food that people bring in from employees to work. So no, I know. Potlucks? No, nah, no potlucks. But ain't it fucked up that we don't fuck with a potluck? But you would trust a Uber Eats motherfucker, and I've been in places waiting for food. When you see the Uber Eat people picking up, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't order today. Listen. Because I do the motherfucking delivery. Because you I, not to cut you off. All right, bye. Okay, so people do profile pictures and shit like that for like those apps and everything. Like they do fucking social media sites. Mm-hmm. So they take the good pic. Mm-hmm. But if you go down the line and scroll past the last four, it's fucking hard to do that. Really? And the fourth one might be the real pick that they took today. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I never, I never paid attention to the. I mean, I look at the pick, but I never like scroll through the. I'm just saying. I'm just you know making an example because it's some motherfucking weirdos out here picking y'all food up yeah. and delivering it off to you. Yeah. And deliver. I was watching this on TV where they were saying your food might not be coming from I'm sorry, might not be coming from the restaurant that you actually ordering it from. Mm-hmm. They have what's called ghost kitchens. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ghost niggas so basically ghost it's like one big ass building and they cook P.F. Chang's food. They make Subway sandwiches and all of that. Mm-hmm. Right at Mama's house kitchen. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. So once I found that out, I've seen that on the news. Once I found that out, I, you know, haven't been so fond of the Uber Eats. And then it has been times where I ordered stuff and I'm like, this don't really taste like how it would taste if I went in the restaurant and sat down and ate it. So. I got it. Oh, wait. Mm-mm. 
ooh, 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 wait. It just popped in my head. But I'm not going to tell you fuckers. No, <laughs> no, 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 Lord. I got an idea. Ooh, 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 With ooh. the Uber stuff? Nope. Okay. We're going to find out about this idea later on. Mm-hmm. If you don't forget. Nah. <laughs> It's, it's a get rich. It's a get rich. Um, plan. idea. Yes, it's a long term plan, mm. and if it work out, it can change lives. Mm. Okay, I'm interested to hear what this is about. It's on like that dim light in the back. You see it right there. The dim. Bing bang bang. Rawr. Look, he got brighter because nigga then got lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me be up talking this all nighter. Oh mm-hmm. my God. Cause God. shit, I'll put out the flame, but I'm still lighter. I mean, don't give me the gapping and cracking, cause shit can happen. Be on my do's and don'ts, nigga, ins and outs, and you never know. Cause motherfucker, one thing for certain, two things for sure. We in the ladies' den, the den, with motherfucker Ellie and Wade Jones. God damn it, let's get it on. Pop my collar, you know what I do. I go to sleep, wake up, and make it die. <laughs> I like that. This is what he do. I like that rap. That was a rant. That was a rap. That was a rant. That was snapping. Like Kanye. Mm -mm. That was snapping like a turtle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A turtle. Don't make me put you on the nearest stop sign like my nigga Smack say and have you running that wheel like a gerbil. Oh my God. God. The the nearest stop sign. Mm -hmm. I don't like that one. Running that wheel like a gerbil. Don't Mm -hmm. don't, don't forget the end. Shout out Smack. Yeah, Back on fig, Back on fig. Shout out T-Rail. T-Rail. Heather. Mm-hmm. Mac <laughs> Oh, let me do it. Shout out to y'all. Shout out, shout out, I shout fuck out. With, we fuck with the fuck with. Sure. And they fuck with us. They definitely inspired, you know, this whole idea of me. Yeah, I want to know. What inspired you? Well, I always wanted to have my own talk show coming up. I'm uh, talking low, so we don't. <clears throat> I always wanted to have my own talk show mm-hmm. coming up. I used to watch a lot of like Ricky Lake, normal school. I watched like you know uh, Oprah mm-hmm. and all of that, and then like when the Jerry Springer and all of that kind of stuff. Rest like in that. peace. R.I.P. To Y'all Jerry. know we grew up with Jerry. Salute to Jerry. You know, so then. um uh, I mentioned it before, just having, you know, family members and stuff who, you know, got things going on, you know, as far as like music or, you know, having their own businesses and stuff. I always wanted to have a platform where I feel like I could interview them, you know, and just get my point of view out there. And then, you know, me and Wave, I mentioned it before, that was definitely kind of like the icing on the cake, you know, just really seeing the ins and outs. I'm like, okay, I feel like Fuck this is something. Round table. Don't forget right. this, you know, the it. round table, shout out to the round table, the round table, D8, get it right. Mm-hmm. It's go time. But for sure, just getting a chance to experience that or whatever, I think that was like the push. It was like, okay, I think I could probably do this. You know what I'm saying? So, kind of like put it all together myself and, you know, we up and running and and uh, and not for nothing. Not Still that, figuring not, it out. Not you know that what I'm saying? mad or nothing, but I appreciate being the co-host and stuff because, like, I was like not intentionally supposed to be a co-host. I was like a kind of a a, a filling thing. But I'm glad that I, you know, I can come in and you know, and not pause, but yeah, pause. I right, come in and do my damn pause. thing and. Uh, and I love having you here. You know what I'm saying? You <clears throat> definitely, like I said, great personality, very charismatic or whatever. Even like off camera, you know, we always laughing and shit like that. So, yeah, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. And then, you know, of course, you're way more experienced in this than I am. So, you know, I definitely take little pointers. You know, I also take the constructive criticism and all of that. So, you know, it's I feel like it's a win-win. You know, and I'm definitely ready for the podcast, the round table to be back up and airing. What's going on with that? Let's get to that. And let's get to that. Next topic. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the round table, we in under reconstructive mode. We got a little things in work. Got a little things in play. Stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? We'll be out. And I will be sitting in on an episode or two. 
Oh, three. Uh-huh. Oh, know? shit. You might have an episode so of your show. We got to introduce the dead. You know what I mean? With Lady Elo, Lady Elo, nah. <laughs> Bull Ray and Lady Elo. Eloise, what? No, 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 no. But for real, you know, definitely you gotta do, you know, a round table for the short table. insight. Let them know who the fuck we talking to. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, okay. So that sounds good. You know what I'm saying? So with you, I don't know if if I asked you that before. Like, what made you get into the whole podcasting thing? Was it something that you always wanted to do? You know, like, was it somebody that you was kind of like, I wouldn't say trying to, like, copy after, but, like, inspired you to do it or, like, gave you ideas on how to, you know, run the show or, like, what type of content you would be posting? So, I... I'm going to sum it up to be quick, slick, and smooth. I got three shout-outs, and these are three important shout-outs that led to my podcasting. I want to shout-out my big homie, Cozy. You know what I'm saying? Big homie. Check out Cozy Lucas. C-O-Z-Y-L-U-C-A-S. I think that's how you spell it. It's Cozy Lucas on Facebook. You got the... the uh, you know, the, the exclusive uh, designer clothing and bags and slippers and slides and all types of shit for the women. The ladies, shout out to Cozy Lucas, sideline apparel. That's number one in our quick story, Dad. He had a round table, a big ass glass round table. And every Friday, we came up with the name Good Smoke Friday. Me and my bro, shout out my bro, Neff Dot Dollars. And shout out oh, to Rusty wow. Clan, oh, besides. Wow. The big homie cozy because it would interchange. But on Fridays we would get our smoke and we sit at the round table and we talk shit, laugh and everything, talk about sports and all that shit. And it was never titled, it was never recorded. And I'm like, damn, we need to do something like this. I mean, we need like to record these sessions, mm-hmm. not knowing it had a name. So the second person I want to give a shout out to and thanks to is Carmel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she put me on to the actual podcast mm-hmm. like I didn't even I had an Android phone that was nasty and like this big mm-hmm. and then it died on me like my phone do all the time so she was like yo why don't you get an iPhone so I got the iPhone 4 which was this big <laughs> the first the, the Android was this big the iPhone was this big mm-hmm. like, yeah they used to be small small mm-hmm. as hell so a feature on the iPhone was podcasts, not knowing. And this is when iPhone 5 or 6 was out. So mm-hmm. I'm at the 4. So I'm late. Just trying to up you to date, bring you up to the story. Mm-hmm. I'm late. So, but it's a function in this podcast. And Drink Champs just came out. And I, you know, started listening to Drink Champs. Shout out to Nori. Shout out to DJ EFN. And that led me to listening to uh, Combat Jack. Rest in peace, Combat Jack. I loved it. Loved it. Made me inspired to like, oh, wow, people do record these shits. And then the third person I want to give a shout out to is my brother Piff. Shout out to my brother Piff. You know what I'm saying? Check you out. NY Piffany. NY Piff. Uh, apparel, caps, shirts, all that shit on Facebook. P-I-F-F-Y Piff. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, after months of having equipment, he was the first person to say, nigga, you gonna do an interview and you gonna interview me. Mm-hmm. And we gonna do this shit. I'm gonna give you the push and the jump. Sorry, you didn't mean to do that. But yeah. For real. Yeah. No, no, no. yeah. But he gave me the push and we did our first interview and everything since then been just to the roof. I was nominated for podcast of the year last year. I didn't win, unfortunately. I, I, I found out what was nominated late in the, um, late after the nominations, and it was basically fan based. So I had I known earlier, I would have had time to promote it and get more fan votes. But um, you know, just to be nominated and do what I do, and I'm not gonna get into the long story or rant. About how I'm the doula of this shit, how I gave birth to you motherfuckers and you niggas, all you niggas in Buffalo, New York that's doing urban hip hop interviews and, and, and interviewing up and coming artists need to pay homage. It's okay. It's respect. 
Mm. Love y'all hearts. Fuck your shit. And it is what it is. No. I know what it is, and you better figure it out and know who it is. Nope. It's the round table, D-A-R-O-U-N-D-T-A-B-L-E-P-O-D-C-A-S-T. Round table podcast, Wayne Jones. It's go time. It's go time. Okay. So that's in a short story rundown. That's what it happened. And that's what's up. That's what's up. Definitely. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you know, the round table definitely dope. You know, me just getting a chance to <clears throat> sit in a couple of times and again, you know, just see the ins and outs. That's right, what I before was you like, started. Okay. Right. Wow, I didn't even think about that before you even started doing it. Yeah, you did sit in a couple of times. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe like once or twice, I believe. But, you know, it was cool. It was a cool experience or whatever. And it definitely, like I said, it definitely was inspiring so hey i really didn't have a a whole direction in which i wanted to go but you know at the same time you know sometimes you just gotta you know learn as you go with things i'm definitely a hands-on learner you know what i'm saying i'm new to this or whatever i'm definitely not gonna give up you know i know it's gonna be trial and error you know it's gonna be some some hit and misses but you know i'm gonna stay in it and you know, I know it's gonna get greater later. You know, so uh, cancellations are frowned upon within the podcast space, but it's to be expected. Well, I never since we've started, I've never canceled a, a show. No, um, no, how it kind of started you. was it's supposed to be every Sunday, but how it kind of started was we was doing it every other Sunday. But the plan is to do it every Sunday between 8 and, what, 8 and 10 p.m. We started a little late tonight or whatever, but, yeah, you know, and there will be times where we have people, you know, it will be times where it's just going to be me and Wade here, you know, so that's why it's important for you guys to definitely chime in, again, comment, like, share, sure, subscribe, for yes. show, for show, for show. Because we want to get to those super chats so we can start... You know, really digging deep and everything like that. You know what I mean? It just takes some likes and shares. Subscribe. You only got to like it one time mm-hmm. per episode. Mm-hmm. But you only got to subscribe one time and mm-hmm. one time only. Yeah. And that's that's the goal. I would really like to lean a little more towards YouTube because I feel like we could be a little more, you know, less you filtered with shit. it. You know? But. Fucking kick. Rumble. It's a it's a bunch of different things. Stuff, yeah, it's, definitely. You got some ideas, some things in the working. You know what I'm saying? That you know gonna be up and running as well. You know, one foot in front of the other, one day at a time. But if but, anybody's out there and they are uh, uh, engineer or a uh, program, you know, uh, program or whatever, please hit up. Uh, Ellie at your email at what so they can you know Ellie Jackson two five spell it out E L L Y J A C K S O N two five at gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. So if y'all got any experience and you know in these apps or anything like that that can help out, and, definitely hit my shit. inbox. Right, you right. know what I'm saying? Definitely mm-hmm. let me know. You know I got a a couple of family members that's good at this but you know they doing their own things or whatever but again you know hit me up email me and let's talk about it for sure and um i want to get a little merch going too i reached out to a couple people Mm -hmm. regarding that you know nothing too crazy but just something to represent on the outside as you you know so again it's a lot of good things coming up you know i appreciate the support, what, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, you guys liking the video, you guys viewing the video, I appreciate all of that, all of the love, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So, we coming to the ending. It's only an hour there, and we still... It's only an hour. You ready to, you ready to hang up the, uh... No, 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 no. You want the gloves already? No, not yet. I mean, we normally only go for an hour. Oh, we do? I mean, what, the last one was like, what, an hour and 20 minutes? We went for a minute. An hour and 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. Shout out to my bro, we was talk- No, not that one. The last one with uh, Felicia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that was due to technical difficulties and everything. Yeah, that too. You know, but, yeah, man. I mean, it's a it's lot of things experience. going on. It's a lot of things going on still, you know. It is. To, uh, 
bring it back topic, I don't know if you've seen, but um, did you see the white officer punch the lady in the face in the... Uh, when was this? In the medic ward, I should say, of a hospital or whatever. But okay. it's a video going around where um, a lady was detained. She had handcuffs behind her back. And she was, you know, being belligerent or whatever and being excessive. And so the first time she spit on the ground and then the cop took his little, took her um, like a piece of paper or something she had in her hand. It probably was like... Her piece of paper that had all her phone numbers on it, you know what I mean? So she knew somebody to call to try to get her out or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So the cop takes the piece of paper, she goes even crazier. To the point where down the line in the video, she spits on the cop and immediately he just takes off her. Bow! But that's assault. Pump, yep. In front of the that's medical assault. examiner, the the, the uh, nurse or whatever, the whatever. Spitting on someone is assault. It's assault, right. But you also a and that's ground. And you're a civil servant. Yeah, I'm not saying he punched but you, her. And I'm not defending. I'm not defending it. And but bloody her nose. That's why I feel like it need to you be more to, excessive to de-escalate. You get paid to be a cop to de-escalate. No, and yeah, how much can you de-escalate when she's ranting and raving? Well, de-escalating is you not punch. Is you not punch her in the face? Right, exactly. <laughs> Right, but again, as a human, more, more restraint than that. Right, listen, and we gotta stop thinking of these police officers as anything other than human beings. They still people. They still got emotions. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, you know, they got bad attitudes and they have bad days, and they absolutely bring it to work. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that's why I feel like the training and stuff need to be a little bit more intense. You know what I'm saying? Lots of people that got like mental issues and anger issues and stuff. I don't feel like you need to be an officer if, you know, you having a bad day. Now somebody going to jail. Somebody not going home because you shot them. You know what I'm saying? This this lady nose is broken or whatever because you can't control your emotions. But they're people at the end of the day. That's, That's right. all I'm saying. That is a total. Yeah. So... I'm not going to say that he was right because he definitely was not right for that. Mm. But if somebody spit in my face. Yeah. It's, it's I want it popping like motherfucker or Red and Bacher. Mm. But uh, to talk about when it popping and shit, did you see in Las Vegas the fucking alien so-called spaceship that crash landed? Did y'all see out. that crazy shit? What Number one, fuck? do you really, really think that it's real? Yes. Because it was caught footage also on the body cam of a police officer. I'm going to say this. Whenever stuff yeah. like this start happening, it's always some other shit that's up and coming. And I'm not sure, but yeah, that's why. I know. That's why. You There's going to be some more shit I, like COVID. It's going to be... Just, just, just watch. Just so, watch. Let me ask you this. You don't believe in aliens? You don't believe Absolutely. in another life form of them? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So you don't think an alien ship after all these years could crash land? You don't think they bat batteries and nebulites? I think they already here. They've been here. They have they been here. The bodies of. I think they. I think it's like. I think it's like shapeshifters mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. I, you know, and you know, people will say, "Oh, you crazy or whatever, whatever." But yeah. No, I well, definitely I know, believe in the extra terrestrials. It's illusionoids. Like you ever where, see, you ever see somebody who just don't look like you know, like you see Men in Black. Mm -hmm. You know they put a lot of truth in the movies. You know they do. They put a lot of truth in the movies, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything like that. But I'm absolutely a free thinker. I think outside of the box. I believe uh, half of what I see and none of what I hear. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how I view the whole entire world. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely believe that it's other entities. I definitely believe that it's other existences outside of us. And if you don't believe that, or you don't believe in anything at all, I feel bad for you. Come on. Because I've seen the UFO a couple of years ago. Like, maybe... 11 years ago, I've seen the UFO. I was getting off work, and it was like... Not late where 
the sun cover everything, but it wasn't bright also like when the sun is out. It's like that perfect red, like kind of off the moon accent sky. Mm -hmm. And that motherfucker was gliding for a minute. I'm watching it, watching it. Like, it's in one spot in the next Like, you seen the shit, like? Yes. It That's just started wild. spiraling toward the ground. I what kid you, you not. I was a kid. I was probably like oh. 20 years old. Okay. Yeah. I've seen some weird things. I don't know if I saw a spaceship. Um, my oldest sister used to live in Hannibal, Missouri. And I, if you guys know about Hannibal, Missouri, the weather there changes in a matter of minutes. Like, it's crazy. So I remember one night we seen like this crazy looking, I guess it was a star, but it just looked real crazy. Like, it was like breaking apart of some crazy weird shit like that. It was me and my mom, it was a long time ago, but yeah, we were saying it was a UFO. I don't know what it was, but it was a weird looking star. No doubt, no doubt. But anyway, guys, I want to thank y'all for tuning in tonight. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for the support. We got more good you stuff coming. You don't want to story What? You don't want to story of a wave? You got a story of a Okay, Wayne got a story, guys. I mean, I so no, I'll hold off today, next week, if you no, want. I no, no, no. We, we, sure? we, we, we an hour and ten minutes in. So let's get a quick story with Wayne, guys. Because this is something that you said that you were going to do. And I'm just saying so. I'm just saying, you know, I can do it or not, but let's do it. All right. So after uh, Miss Ellie, Queen Ellie was, you know, alliterating and talking about, you know, um, it brings me up into a story. And this week's story will wave. It's powered and brought to you by some good weed because I'm over here feeling really good. <laughs> I good. see it too. I'm, I'm a little quiet now because oh, the weed's on the door. But, um, let's see, this is a good story. This is a good story. Too. Give us a good one, one that's going to make us laugh. You always got a good story, so pull one out of the archives. Okay, I'll give you that story. Now, Statues of limitations and everything. I was a young toddler. I was a jit. You know what I'm saying? I was coming up from the grit trying to make it happen and be legit. Mm hmm. Hold on. You so, got to get in the camera. This is way story. So, I remember this one particular morning. I'm not going to say who I was with, but a brother of mine was like, yo, I got a jits lined up. So I said, all right, shit, I can use a little money. Let's see what they got in their house. Fuck it. So, normally, at high school, for my high school years, on a Saturday, because I stayed up late on Fridays and everything, I wouldn't wake up till like, 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. This Friday, uh, Saturday morning, I'm up at 9.30, 10 o'clock a.m. So, we get strapped up, book bags, hoodied up, doing our thing, about to leave out the house. We leave out the house, smoking our blunt, walking down the street. Mind you, it's 10 a.m. 10 in the morning. So on the way to the Jooks, my mom rode past us. And she had to be working at 11, 11 to 7. Mm. What the fuck is y'all doing with the hoodies and book bags? Busted. Student working in the morning. Oh, we about to go to the gym. Because <laughs> we slick with it. Did she day. fall for it? Yeah. She had to go to work. So she had no choice but to fall for it. So proceed on. We go to the house that my people so-called scoped out this new third. So, we get there, boom, I'm trying to go through a back window and shit. Now, mind you, I'm an adolescent, I'm a dickhead at this time. I don't do this shit no more. I do not advise, and I do not, and I repeat, I do not advise any kids out there. Or any, condone. Or condone. Any stories I tell is just stories. Entertainment I'm purposes yep. is only. Yep. Entertainment yep. purposes Not for education, only. just for dumb knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge that you can't so use. So, <laughs> we, we try to break into the house in the back window and shit. And my people breaking in and I'm being wise and shit. So, a car pull up in the driveway. Boom. Don't go in the driveway, but just pull up like a delivery person. They sit for a minute, look in the back and peek. I'm like, yo, yo, car, car, car. You're like, fuck that. We still going in. So, the car drive off. He's still trying to get in the way and everything. Maybe... To the point where he got 
the window open and had his waist in, a car pulls up in the driveway. So I'm like, yo, car, car, car. He slides out the joint. We start running. In that particular backyard, it was a fence, but it was kind of a short fence. And it was like curled over, like like it had been stepped on or something for quite some time. That's what it looked like. Car, car, car. <laughs> See, this is why I wish we had like like I'm thinking about back on faith because I want to say put the little car in the chat. Car, 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 car. You got black dots and cars. <laughs> yeah, I have black dots. Let me finish my story. Okay. <laughs> so he hopped down. He run first. Like, 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 I'm still looking from the driveway. I'm like, oh, shit, car, car, car. He hopped down. Boom. He take off. I take off behind him. He does a Spider-Man walking. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it. He sprung one leg, boing, <laughs> on the, the goddamn fence. Sprung the other leg on the garage. Lifted himself up on the other garage and got it like it's from Assassin's Creed. Oh my god. Real fast. I tried to attempt it seconds later. Not moments, seconds, seconds. later. As all this is happening is happening in seconds. Mm-hmm. So when I go to boing off the fence and to jump to the fucking the shed, put my foot on it and do the same thing he did to climb the shed. I get trampolined <laughs> into the shed so hard to the point where the paint on the shed was embedded in my skin. Oh my god! Like later on, you I, ever have a paintbrush burn? It, y- y'all out there ever have burn. a paintbrush burn? That's I, what I had. I, 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 I had a paintbrush. Yes. Burn. So you know what I mean. Yes. Needless to say, I didn't get the same boing. <laughs> That he got. <laughs> so I slammed into the garage side. Oh, 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 oh my god. And then I did pick myself up and I two leg fat man jumped <laughs> <laughs> to the fucking joint and pulled myself up and get out of it. Oh my god. Bro, I was walking down the street in disappointment and failure and I'm scratching this paint out of my fucking elbow. I realized breaking and entry wasn't for me, so Kids, let this be a lesson for me to for you from Wayne Jones. Don't break in nobody's house. Please don't. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The embarrassment or even the shit pain. Yeah, because the pain hurt me. <laughs> and I hit that shit. It's like a, a, a and even when was there, like, See, that was the universe letting you know no, I, I that you fucking room. up. Right away. Sometimes the universe, work right away. And and it the funny thing is it's the instant that you saw your mom and she said it's right here. The instant that you saw your mom and your oh, that was friend. it right there. That was the cue. Mm-hmm. That was the cue. Mm-hmm. But of course, you know what I'm saying? This is probably days after I already got caught stealing my mom's truck. So she was on high alert anyways. Yeah, this is back in Beaver days. Uh, I, I got a, I got a story and, about yeah, I stole my stealing, stealing a car. And then you know when we stole the truck, it was me and my cousin Fade, and this motherfucker hopped up like the police. We got to the corner and ran and left me. That's another story. <laughs> I want to keep telling y'all my story. I got, he I left got me with the back story. door open. Oh my god! Yeah. Like he hopped out, he jumped over the seat, hopped up the back door, like he didn't want to be seen in the front seat. And and this is saying, I love you to death. All I got no. I don't want. To, oh, I, don't, I got some stories. <laughs> I got some stories. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm never gonna tell you more stories. Story uh, time with Wade. Mm-hmm. Story time with Wade. Listen, like, Y'all like I like that story. Love, like, share, comment. Right. Listen. Tell me, you know, what I could do better, or you know, tell me if I want to hear some more wild stories. Give me some suggestions because exactly. I probably done been through it or been did it. Right. Definitely, I got some stories too, but I enjoy the stories with Wade. So we definitely want to keep that going. Definitely keep you on your job or whatever because, yeah, this is something that you wanted to do. And I like hearing the stories. I hope you guys like hearing them. You know what I'm saying? Definitely like, again, like, share. You know what I'm saying? Put the cards in the chat. Put the black dots in the chat. If y'all watched the first episode, y'all know what the black dots represent. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> it, before you, I got a quick would you rather. Would you rather? It was on my mind. Okay. Like, um, it was on my mind. Like, would you rather deal with a person with undeniable body odor? Even though they can have them bad, they can be fine as fuck, all that shit, but they got undeniable body odor. What is undeniable body like, odor? Like, they it's just it's there. Deep. And they body stick. No matter how much they wash and put perfume on and cologne, it smell like ass and boudoir. Badushi. 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 Or, would you rather have the same criteria, a nice, you know, motherfucker got money, everything, but they breath be undeniable. Like, no matter what they do, they can chew a fresh piece of gum and it still smell like they ate a shit sour sandwich. Mm. Both of those are pretty intense. Um. Now, mind you, I'm gonna give you a little. I think that thing. I definitely would. Intimate. I would rather. I, I would. I would probably take the breath. Yeah, because that's intimate. You could be right here with it. Right. Because the body odor, other people go smell you at the table. The body odor is a lot. You know, we can't go nowhere. You can't go nowhere. His With the breath, we gonna, get, we gonna Listerine strip you. Can't do nothing. But not you. I don't care. We we gonna do everything we can do about that breath. It might be, you know, a bad teeth. You know, my teeth are not perfect. But no, it's ain't just nothing it's right. it don't work. You know what I'm saying? So it might be some uh, bad tooth in there that you need to, you know, get checked out. So we there's lots of things. That's that person you can do. But that B.O., like you said, you know, right now it's summertime. Not a good look. Even in the winter. Not a good look. But I'm just saying, now in the summertime, like, your scent is mm-hmm. in the air. Nah, I take, I, I would, I would rather neither, but <laughs> I would take the, the, the breath. I would, I would take the breath. Especially if your family life depended on you, definitely better take the breath for shit. Hot dog water and all. It's hot dog Snail knees, nigga. Oh That's nigga. my god! Mm-hmm. Frog toes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking cricket armpits. You got to do what you got to damn do. Alligator nostrils. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Nah, we good on those. We Mosquito good on those. nipples. Oh no, no, no. Mm-mm. We good on that. Mm-hmm. We good on that. Oh my goodness. Well, again, guys, I want to thank y'all for tuning in mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to the den. It was Definitely fun like, share, subscribe. Ellie Jackson25 on my YouTube. Um, definitely uh, follow me on Instagram. Follow me here on Facebook. Definitely it was fun. check out the Round Table Podcast. D A, get it right, not T A. I think I think they need to see your outfit one more time before they go off camera. Before we go off camera, I think. Let me see your outfit. Your outfit. Oh, you, you want to see my outfit? Yeah, one more time. Y'all yeah, want to see the the Palooza pants? Oh, show them the top. The Palooza pants. We got the, we got the good top with the good back out. You know, I got the little waist beads going. And the Palooza pants. Palooza pants, ladies. It's awesome. Get y'all some back mm. pocket. Get y'all some. <laughs> but again, thank y'all for tuning in to the den. It's been a great, great, great time. Always enjoy my co-host here, Waverly Jones. Y'all definitely follow him on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to the YouTube. Wave, give him your yeah, handle. Oh, excuse me, I'm high fly and I cannot deny. It. What I'm gonna say is this: don't miss the next episode of the Den with the great queen. You know what I mean, Ellie. You know what I mean, Jackson. She mean. She doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? But it's round table shit. D a r o u n d t a b l e. Seven one six. Gmail me if you want to set up an interview or whatever. But this ain't about me, this is about the lady right here and the dream and the den. And you feel yeah. me? Because the dream is happening and she's making it do what it do right now as we speak. So tap in, tune into the den, and then once again, it's go time! It's go time! Rawr.
you're funky. 